I would just run around like a crazy person and shit all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's true. I believe that. Just like in the middle of Starbucks. <laughs> He's outside if, smearing it on the windows. If other people have to poop outside too, I think there'd be more than, you know, everyone would be doing it, so you could get away with it. Cut to cat. What's up? Thanks for tuning in to Cup to Cup. Now you're home. You, you sound so much better. Heavily caffeinated today. I apologize. I knocked on their door. I said, hey, what's your yeah, Wi-Fi? Yeah. And they're like, don't you want coffee? And I said, yes, but I can't. Um, I uh, So I'll tell you this one thing about Zencaster. If you talk over each other, it kind of like cancels out whoever is least, has the least strongest like internet connection, if that makes sense. Okay, well, we will wait for the pauses and uh, speak our turn and be patient. Uh, we're going to let Kev introduce everybody. All right, everybody. Welcome to Cup to Cup episode number 10. We're hitting Ooh. milestones number 10. Uh, as always, I got my boy Chase here. Yo. Very nice. Got Jay here as well. Hello. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we have very, very special guests today. I got Rich and Liz here. Hello, everybody. Hey, how's it going? You guys are like the new, like probably the first like true interview that we've done. We brought some guests on before, but uh, we all follow you guys on Instagram. I've known you since third grade, Rich. Liz, probably almost 10 years now. Yeah. But you guys have been doing something super, super cool. Um, so I'm just going to let you guys... Tell me like where you guys come from, how you guys met, um, and what you guys are uh, doing that's like I think completely badass. So I grew up in Florida. Like you said, uh, we've known each other since third grade. Elizabeth grew up in California. Yep. And about 10 years ago, we got a job for Norwegian Cruise Line, and we worked on a ship in Hawaii. And that's how me and Rich met. And we worked there for about a year, and then we came back – I well, I came back to California and he stayed with me out there. I went back to school, went to grad school in Georgia. I was about to finish up and we thought, well, what's this new chapter going to look like in our lives? What are we going to do next? And Richard always wanted to live sort of off grid. Yeah, I could have lived in a van. And I live in a van down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he wanted to. And I was like, well, I don't know about, well, in grad school, but now that it's almost over. Um, so we decided and we looked up school buses and we saw people converting school buses. Um, we couldn't afford an RV. And so we like looked at a school bus and the next couple of days later we bought it and we worked, uh, fixed it up and we've been traveling in it, living full time in it since August. Yeah, we looked at different RVs and we just didn't want to keep paying rent. We were paying, you know, a lot of money every month for five years and it was about $75,000 just basically paying for somebody else's mortgage. So, Ooh. um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we had looked at RVs and we toured them and they were kind of as expensive as houses. And so we thought, well, the ones that we could afford, we were going to put so much money into them anyway, just to make sure they were maintained that we thought, well, if we do a bus, we can do it our own way. We can customize it ourselves. We can just put a little extra work into it and then have exactly what we want. Um, and plus Richard was a bus driver. Like this is his destiny. Like his mom was a bus <laughs> driver. His grandparents were bus drivers. So it was only a matter of time. That's awesome destiny a family of bus drivers mm -hmm. that's really cool i don't know where was the first place you guys visited from the bus when we bought the bus the first place we took it was to savannah and we stayed out in savannah for about a week yeah yeah we stayed there and i mean we just didn't have a lot of real reference point we bought it we saw it on online and we called and we bought it. And like within two days, we just had a, a bus. And so we had to work to get it insured. Yeah. And literally the first place that we took it was Luke and Missy's wedding because that was their wedding weekend. So we're like, oh, yeah, we're going to go down and get this bus. These are mutual friends. And um, and then we just took it over there. And everyone was like, what are you doing? 
how do you know where to stay? Um, so when you're going to visit, I know you have some friends and family and stuff like that, but when you don't have anywhere to stay or like park the bus, how do you know, or where do you know, um, where you can leave it? There are some places that allow RV parking or bus parking. We stay at Cracker Barrels in the back. We also work out at the Planet Fitness gym and it's $20 a month. You can go to any gym in the country and a lot of them are 24 hours. So we will also go work out and then just park the bus. Yeah. Yeah. There's about 1500 locations nationwide. And so once we built the bus and moved in full time, we took it to Savannah, back to Atlanta, down to Florida again, and then all the way up to Maine on the coast. And so throughout all the wow. places. That's amazing. How, how long did that take to drive up to Maine? Well, we took our time. So we are now living in our bus. We sold our vehicles and everything. So we're like, if we can just go and take our time, then that would be good for money and fuel and everything. So we took about two months to get up to Maine. Um, and then we came back wow. down through the um, the Northeast to see all the colors change in the leaves. So we did like mountains down. But that's awesome. Yeah. Was it beyond awesome? Yeah. Was yeah. it awkward when you guys got into Planet Fitness for like the first time and like just started using their showers and stuff? Like, did you just kind of get used to like just doing it? Has anybody ever like called you out? <laughs> we stayed at a Planet Fitness for two days one time. And when we finally walked in, the owner called the shop and said, hey, what are you what are you doing here? Why is your bus here? Is it broken down? So <laughs> if you stay too long in any spot, sometimes they, you know, they want you to go. Yeah. And and we're pretty nomadic, too. We just want to keep moving. And so we will only do a couple nights um, at the most. But for Planet Fitness, it was just hard getting used to showering in public all the time for me anyway. Every shower is different, too. So, you know, some are nice, some are some aren't so nice. But you just you're in there for 10 minutes, you get cleaned up and you put your new clothes on and then you get out of there. But now I don't even care. It's almost like we have this huge bathroom to ourselves and I just say, F it. I'm just going to come in and like do what I want and take as long as I want. And so you do get used to it on the road, I guess. (laughs) So I got to ask this. This was one of my first questions that I had, and I know it's very childish. Have either of you had to just pull over since you guys have traveled a long distance at times, and I'm sure bathrooms aren't around. Have you just kind of pulled over and taken like a dump, like on the side of the road? (laughs) I have not. (laughs) Um, Richard? No. (laughs) (laughs) Well, let me ask if you've ever done that, Jason. I have. I have done that uh, when I was young. I think it was Boy Scouts or something like that. That's. I have pulled over. My dad's like, get out of the car. It, we're, we're not stopping. Go take the deuce. So I have done it. But I haven't done it um, as an adult, I don't think. Wait, did what, you have toilet paper? Yeah, that's what I was going to no, ask. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember, but I don't think so. You're a gross person, Jason. <laughs> I was young. Disgusting. I have had to use the bathroom once when there was no bathroom around. So I just... Used a shopping bag, like a like a shopping bag, and <laughs> squatted down and pooped in it, and then threw the bag in the garbage. So <laughs> it's biodegradable. So, yeah. So what what uh, appliances and kind of like amenities do you have in the bus right now? Well, now we have running water. Uh, we have solar that powers the water pump. Uh, we have. Um, a stove, two kind of options for stoves for cooking. Yeah, like a camp stove. Um, and we also have a propane heater in here. So not a lot. There's no microwave, no no TV, no TV in this bus. No. And we live. That's cool, though. Oh, um, no, that is cool. The first uh, four months without running water and the first two months of that was without any power. So it was. Wow. Fun. I never got to ask you guys this about the bus. What is your bus called? You have a name for this. I'm a terrible host. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. Uh, our bus is called Little House on the Highway. Yep. Nice. I like it. Yeah. He. Uh, I met it for the first time. That was like two, three months ago, and you were just installing the solar panel. Um, and you were doing a couple other things, but it is an incredibly nice like situation. It's not you would not if you didn't if you were inside the bus, you wouldn't think it was a bus. Yeah, I could probably now that we're living in here full time, I could 
see myself living in a van like Richard wanted originally, but it's, yeah, it's pretty spacious. That's, awesome. that's, that's super awesome. Are y'all planning on going to all 49 states in the continental U S eventually? I think the less states there are, the more we want to go to them. You know, if we haven't visited, visited that's it awesome. yet, we want to get there. Mm-hmm. I think we, we've already been to about 20, three states so far in the and just in the last five months since wow. we've been doing this a lot of driving though so do you have like a set plan or are you just kind of like just living it as it comes well we did have a plan like last i say semester because i was enrolled um in a graduate program and so i had to stick around in order to come back and defend my thesis and graduate so that's why we kept it to right. the mm. east coast but now that i've graduated we can really go anywhere. So that's kind of where all the plans fell <laughs> off. So we're kind of just out here right now. We're in Arizona. That's awesome. That's crazy. Is is there a favorite spot that you've been to so far, like a favorite thing that you've done mm-hmm. so far? Well, I think just having the ability to be where wherever you are, you don't know what's going to happen that day. And that's the nice thing about not planning is that you wake up in the morning and you go to a new location and you're going to discover something Um, my favorite day was probably the Daytona day, but that was just a really, it's a long, kind of a long story, but it was a really interesting day, um, in Daytona beach that we had. I saw that on your Instagram. Uh, that was, that looked like a very awesome day. The best part I like about traveling is every day is almost, sometimes there's no plan and you, some of the best things happen when there's, when you don't plan anything out. Mm Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Oh, no, just as far as locations, seeing the Northeast was really cool. Um, I had never been up past, like, we went through Connecticut, and we went to some really, really old places that I just never have been in that part of the country. So We drove through Washington, D.C., and that was a, a cool experience with the bus at night. Yeah, everyone's like, how do you go see Washington and and not be, like, totally stuck in traffic? Well, you go at midnight. And you just yeah. park in front of the Capitol building and you hope they don't think you're a terrorist. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> uh, so we, you're going to be the first guest. We're going to start this uh, little tradition um, moving forward uh, with all of our, our guests coming on the show. We're going to ask you guys a question. So um, I'll give, since it's two of you, I'm going to make both of you guys answer this one. And then the next couple of ones, I'll just kind of um, ping pong back and forth. But um, for both of you, if you had a time machine, would you go back in time or visit the future? I would go back in time. I guess I'd go into the future. Yeah, why not? Uh... <laughs> Splitting it up. <laughs> Can you give me like a short reason why both of you guys are the opposite? Well, I love um, the past, the history, um, just history of anything. The idea that today is tomorrow's history is like – you know, you, you can go back in time and see what people were thinking. And I don't know, I would just be a fly on the wall. I don't, I don't have a particular era, but I don't know, probably early 20th century, I guess, if I had to choose. Nice. I love it. What about you, Rich? Maybe. Well, I think I'd go, I never even thought about this, but I guess I <laughs> can't go back on it now. I guess I go into the future to uh, check on my family, check on my friends. It's yeah. just like traveling. I, I like when I travel, I'll go see, I want to go see people. I want to visit friends I haven't seen for a long time. So I'd probably check in on everyone. In so you're future. going like short, early distance future. You're not talking like two, 300 years from now. No, it'd be probably just 10 or 15 years. And then you get to go back and know what happened. <laughs> you go like a week and a half into the future. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did I eat? It's gonna be yeah. a short I really trip. want to know what I was eating on Saturday. Let's go figure out what we're going to have for dinner. <laughs> um, How'd that yeah. movie turn out? Uh, Chase. All right. So this, this is a new segment. So I don't have a, I have a vague idea of what it is. Um, Chase came up with it a couple days ago and I thought it was pretty awesome. Wait, what? There's no way. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wait, so this is like secret. This It was secret because... You'll, so you'll, like the two no, of you got no, together Ch- and secretly Chase did this. Did his, and I mean, nope, Jason, nope, nope Jason nope. did this. Chase did Jason. this and sent it to Jason to see if he thought it was a good idea. I thought it would be yeah. better. I thought it would be better to have as little people know about it as possible so they wouldn't cheat. And you'll see why when he brings us up and uh, we're going to run with it and see how it works. I think it's going to be funny as hell. Um, Rich and Liz, I think you guys, Liz, you're pretty, 
I think you're probably the smartest, easily the smartest person in this room right now. So you, oh, you'll 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 make fun of us what for problem. I don't know. You'll see. You'll you'll probably make fun of us for not knowing some of these. So uh, Chase, describe what this new segment is. Wait, it's, it's not like trivia. It's Come on, it's not really trivia. trivia. No, it, trivia is later. Trivia is later. Trivia. This is a little bit different. So, yeah. so <laughs> what it is is, Kevin, you actually gave me this idea when you were talking about bad out of hell and bat out of hell. Um, and so I got to thinking about oh, yeah. other sayings that maybe people commonly get wrong. So I, I made a list right. of a bunch of sayings, and I'm going to give you two options, and you're going to tell me which one you think is the correct saying. Okay, so like option this A, is a good segment. you've got another thing coming. Option B, you've got another think coming. I'm going to go A. Um, yep. You got another But I'm sure you've heard people say it both ways, though. That's why you're doing the segment. But one yeah. is is originally correct. So people do say it both ways. Okay. And some of these, you know, the other way makes sense. But there's one that was the original saying. I mean, what's original, though? I mean, First, you know, you like. Got, I thought of the song also, like Kevin. Thing thank, thank you, Rich. Dun, 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 you got another thing coming. Yeah, we're good, too. <laughs> That's so, gotta be it. Jason? Yeah. Uh, I'm going with think because I just feel like we've screwed up things like over time. So think. Uh, is that the first one? No, that was the second one. Second one, second one. So you're going B and everyone else is going A. Yeah. The correct original saying is you've got another think coming as in... As in oh. oh, these were like really heavily researched and some weird so oddball. So it's, it's like, meaning... The original How, meaning go? is um, as in you've got another thought coming behind your current thought. So you've got another okay. think coming like you have think. another thought coming into your head. If I ever see if I ever hear anybody say that, I mean, we're fighting. <laughs> yeah, where's the origin of that? Uh, coming that's from? that's a good question. Um, in the future, maybe I should look that up. Yeah. Uh, we we can, <laughs> yeah. I can see I can see it though, like because think and thought. Maybe they didn't say, "Oh, I've got a thought coming." Well, I've got a think coming. But, I yeah. feel like we've been set exactly. Up. Yeah, these are all going to be setups anyway. What about this? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess the opposite of every one of these for the record. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, no, I mean, that's the good thing is that some of them aren't a setup. So yeah, I have, I like it. There, well, how many did you have? Twenty one. Twenty one. So I let Chase know. I don't know any of these outside of what the segment was so i didn't want him telling us prior because i just feel like we we might have a hesitation to do a little research before so um i can't believe there's 21 of them so i, I looked it up the, the full phrase is if you think x like if you think something you've got another think coming the expression is used as a rebuke often in construction similar to if x thinks that y he or she has another think coming sometimes the word Blah blah. So yeah, that works. Um, oh, okay. But um, Rich, yeah, we're not going to go through all twenty-one. This no, we'll keep no, these going no, on for the yeah. show. <laughs> yeah, no, we won't do that. That's just stupid. <laughs> Thanks, You're Kevin. So upset about it. <laughs> no, I mean, look, I know the song. Everybody knows the song, yeah. right? You got another thing coming. That's how. I mean. So whoever made that song, thanks a lot, bro. You ruined it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just never knew it was think, and he mispronounced it. If it's if it's you got another think coming in the song, man, <laughs> I'm, I'm. But yeah, moms across America have said this for generations, yep. yeah. and they've all been wrong. And they've all been wrong. Amer Americans are never wrong. Well, I've missed your accent, Kevin. Thanks, man. Appreciate <laughs> that. I miss you too, buddy. <laughs> Do you have a piece of straw in your mouth right now? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Maybe I should though. I have uh, our next one, which is uh, Would You Rather? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you guys hate them and sometimes you guys love them. It's time for Would You Rather? Two choices. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Which one would you rather? This one I pulled a while back, so I don't have... Usually we have our friends give, them, uh, give me a list and I pull from them. So this time I didn't. So you guys might hate this one since I made this one up. Um, I hate it already. Yeah, you, you will. It's going to be a little awkward. So I'm going to make... <laughs> I'm going to make Liz answer it. Rich, you're going to hold back um, just because it's going to make Liz uh, feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah, you're welcome, man. <laughs> so first, uh, I want to have Chase, then Kev, then Liz answer. 
Would you rather always go to the bathroom in a giant litter box at your house <laughs> or anywhere you want, but only outside in the public? Chase. Do I get toilet paper in either of these options? Uh, Yeah, sure. Why not? But it's going in a litter box or you're going to be outside. So you're hanging around with a, a pad of uh, toilet paper for a while. Okay, so I'm pro- I'm gonna go with the litter box, but it's uh, I am a little concerned. I'm gonna like hurt my back bending over for long periods of time going in a litter box. You and your back, son. It's gonna be okay. Like, just isn't that the natural position? Like, this is like the first time I've ever mentioned my back on this show. It's true, Jay- Jason. No, he he hurt his back, so I made him work out. Um. On years, uh, everyone will know that once they listen to that show that comes out on Tuesday. Maybe, maybe that's just it's yeah, definitely just. Maybe I what... almost never mention my back. I apologize, Chase and his back. Kev, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm digging a hole and going outside, <laughs> or I'm peek I'm peeking behind a dumpster or something. You know, like I'm not I'm not about to <laughs> to awkwardly have a litter box <laughs> in my house that everybody can just you know smell until you know. We decide to scoop it out with a giant shovel and (laughs) put it in the trash can. I don't even know how it goes, to be honest with you. But uh, I'm definitely doing the outside in the public because, I mean, you could still hide. You know, I got. Yeah, you could. But I mean, if you get arrested for public indecency, that shit sticks with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, is that a thing? thing? I mean, you're going to be outside. You're going to have to cover yourself. Yeah. How is how is that not a thing? I'll just tell them that this is something I have to do. (laughs) That'll go over well. It was a it was a show. So, the show made me do it. I have to do it for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. Why are you, why are you doing cocaine in public? Well, it's just something yeah. I have to do. <laughs> um, what about you, uh, Liz? Um, I'm gonna do the public public. There you order. go. Um, I feel like I kind of do that anyway, or I have to. I'm semi public anyway. We have a travel toilet, but I don't know about yeah. litter boxes. I don't. Yeah, the scooping that that you brought up yeah i don't know how that would work out so i don't want to come back to it ever (laughs) it's a fair Um, point (laughs) and i'm allergic to cats so at some point i feel like i'd have to share with the cat and then it would just be unpleasant wait uh i got a fuzzy noise let me see where i got that fuzzy noise from that's uh that's my thought someone was spraying air freshener what is it water (laughs) Spraying, spraying their litter box. <laughs> that's yeah, that's really my litter box, man. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Did you just like fart and you're like spraying the no, air? It's, uh, air it's my instant pot. I've been cooking something in it for uh, meal prep. Well, what is it? It's uh, pork chops. What time you're, is you're it? You're meal prepping pork chops? Yeah, for lunches. Yeah. It's lunch. Oh. Show. It's lunch time over there. Yeah, I don't know where. Um, I forgot. Yeah, Rich and you guys, you guys are in uh, Arizona, which is two hours back. And. And you went to bed at 4 a.m. So it was like I called them. Ooh. I called these uh, beautiful people or sent them a text at 730 in the morning their time after they went to bed at four o'clock. So they're like, could we just get like two more hours of sleep just before we get on the show? What the hell were you doing until 4 a.m.? I can't say it on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We drove, Phoenix. we drove into Phoenix from El Paso yesterday and it was like forever and everything takes longer in a bus. And then we were with my cousin just hanging out here. Nice. So we're like, we need more time. <laughs> um, all right. So our next segment will be uh, fill in the blank. It's time for fill in the blank. Three blanks. One answer. Two guys. Wait, one answer. There's two of us. Why is there only one answer? Who's answering? I, I don't get it. Ah, fuck it. So pretty easy rule, guys. Uh, there'll be a blank. You just fill it in. Um, you can kind of go in detail uh, why you chose that blank. Um, so the first one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Rich answer this first one, and then I'll ping pong around with the other ones. Um, and obviously, You're all about the ping pong I love some today. ping pong. I played ping we, pong yesterday, yeah. and I think it's stuck in my head. We played ping pong the other day, too. Yeah. So. Chase is good. Go. He's, he's like that weird guy that's like been playing his entire life, but secretly doesn't tell anybody. No, haven't been yeah, playing really. my my whole life. But you could have stopped at that. He's that weird guy. You could have stopped the sentence there. Of course. So I guess you don't care about where I want to poop. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask too. Because you seem like you already knew. Because you skipped me. <laughs> no, I was. I was. Do you remember? I was, was going to make everyone else answer, and then sometimes I'll make you and Liz answer by yourselves. But if well, you want to tell me where you want to poop, tell me. Oh, I would just yeah. Really, when you asked that question, I got excited. I 
I would just run around like a crazy person and shit all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it's true. I believe that. Just like in the middle of Starbucks. <laughs> Well, if other people have to... Sh- He's outside if, smearing it on the windows. If other people have to poop outside too, I think there'd be more than, you know, everyone would be doing it, so you could get away with it. I hope you're not using the toilet. It's broken. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I, don't I know just don't think you should shit in Starbucks in the middle of the aisle, just in the in f- for future reference. Is that frowned upon? Uh, I think so. Uh, I didn't say it. It would be outside. <laughs> it would be outside. <laughs> On like the patio you... of Starbucks. Yeah. It's like you're marking your territory. <laughs> All right. So fill in the blank. First one, uh, Rich, you answer. And then I'm going to make uh, Chase and Kev. Um, first one is a blank you travel to that didn't meet expectations. Rich. <laughs> Am I supposed to just say something like it doesn't yeah. make. Is there a story afterwards? Uh, you can if you want to, yeah. Go like a blank. You don't have to say the whole sentence. Just tell me a place that you haven't tra- – or that you traveled to that didn't meet expectations. Okay. He's thinking really hard. You can't see it, but I can see it. <laughs> Is it does it look like his poop face too? Yeah, he's, he's multitasking right now. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Should I should I pass and go to Kev and then let you think about this a little bit? Yeah, because I've just been so many places and I try to find the good in all of them. Show up, oh, oh dude, you're so sweet. The opposite of me, yeah. Uh, Chase, give give me yours. <laughs> uh, mine is is Paris. Um, I went with really high expectations. Obviously, it's Paris. Yeah, and uh, I mean, right off the bat, it's not you know anything. I guess we got robbed. Um, like immediately and then, um, and then also got like assaulted later on. I mean, I say assault, it's not like they came up and like hit us, but like we are trying to go to the Arc de Triomphe, I think is how you say it. And, uh, or maybe it was, I don't know. We were trying to go somewhere, some very famous spot and they blocked our path. And like, we're trying to sell us these like bracelets and like, oh, you know, you have to buy a bracelet to go. You have to buy it. And we're like, no, we're not buying this like crappy handmade bracelet for like seven euros we're we're not doing that and they just wouldn't let us pass and like even like grabbed me and i kind of like shook off grabbed my wife um which Ooh. really pissed me off um grabbed Ooh. my wife's sister which like really pissed john off john was about to like cold clock the dude um when he put his hands on on elizabeth Finally, we kind of like shrugged them off and, you know, made our way to the top. And then we had to go back by them again. And like, I mean, we just put on mean faces and just like walked fast and kind of <laughs> like, you know, juked them out a little bit. But so, yeah, I mean, just just that was not a good experience, mostly for those two reasons. I also Paris is also where the infamous uh, um, sausage incident happened, where I had the andoulette wow. sausage. So, yeah. Rich, have yeah. you ever had that kind of sausage before? I have no idea what you're talking about. (laughs) Okay. I just feel like you're a man, man of many, uh, many traveling. So I didn't know if you have ever been across this kind of sausage. Well, from, from what I read, it's basically from what I've read, it's basically only in France, certain regions of France. So almost no one else eats it. So. No. Okay. So we went to Toulon. We went to France. A place called Toulon, which is by the coast but we didn't have any sausages there unless I- <laughs> well lucky you <laughs> lucky you uh kev uh w- what's a terrible place that you went to uh first i was gonna go with trader joe's but i'm not gonna do that <laughs> the place that place is overrated this shit uh, disagree but um i went to miami for a gorillas concert and i was kind of hyped to kind of like be in the miami scene and it was basically just like just like hoity toities running around with their nose stuck up in the air, you know. There was a cool was a couple cool cars and shit on the but I mean the beach was absolute trash. I guess I'm spoiled growing up on the Gulf Coast, but man, it was gross down there. That was on my list. Miami was one of mine. It's so gross. Yeah. Rich, did you come up with one? I don't like cities that much. Um <laughs> so all cities? <laughs> 
actually love I actually love that answer. I, um because yeah, not a specific place. I've never gone to a place where and just not liked it, but I'd rather go out and see nature than go to a city or a bunch of buildings because it all looks the same and um sometimes there's a lot of poverty right in your face. It's like there's all this money spent here, but at the same time, there's people living in poverty and that's pretty crappy. So, um, it's depressing. Yeah. C- cities aren't my favorite places to go. So that's my answer. Basically respect. Now, Liz, now Liz likes historical things and sometimes you, you know, you got to get into cities to see that stuff. So do you guys kind of butt heads sometimes about wanting to go in and out of places? Well, we always go to cities actually. <laughs> like, Cause he tells me, he says, well, if I didn't, if we weren't together, I would be living in the forest. And I'm like, well, okay, well, we're together. So let's go to the city. And so, like, <laughs> but I like culture. Like, for me, it's like you hear about a place and you do want to see it, like, what it's like in real life because then you can really feel the energy there. Um, so, I, for me, it's about culture, it's about history. Um, and usually it's in cities, but I like historical places too, like houses. We went- uh- as do I. It's yeah. awesome. I'll, I'll do this next one. Liz, I want to hear it from you. Um, obviously from Chase and uh, Kev. Um, aside from Morgan Freeman, you would have blank narrate your life. Any person you can think of uh, could be famous, could just be, um, I, I, it could be rich. Rich could narrate your life for the rest of your life. That'd be but uh, any, Very yeah, much. any person that you think uh, you would have narrate your life, who would it be? I read this question actually last night and I know it's not possible, but Anthony Bourdain, hands down. Anthony oh, Bourdain. Dude, I love Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. That's a good answer. That's a great, that's a answer. great answer. Yeah. They don't have to be alive. So that's perfect. Um, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Anthony Bourdain is like, my he's got idol. so much style and like class. Yeah. So, dude. Everything about him. It's awesome. We miss that guy. Uh, um, we that's why we yeah. like traveling and eating different places and checking out culture and mm-hmm. you know we'd love to ma- even make a show like that one day. Yeah, because I'm a writer. That's my background and what I hope to continue to do as a profession. But yeah, he just knocked it out of the park. Like he's just so articulate, but he's got style. Um, he really influenced a lot of the places. Uh, Provincetown, Massachusetts is like, that's the reason why we went is because that's where he got his start in the restaurant business. But um, yeah, just, yeah, for sure. Anthony Bourdain. That's a really good answer. That's hard to follow good, up. Yeah, he's very inspirational. That's why I'm going to make you do it, Chase. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so I picked Ron Howard. Um, I don't know if anyone watches Arrested Development or watched Arrested Development. He is the narrator for that. Tobias didn't want to sell his new club, but Lindsay did, which is why she hired several members of a local stripper agency called the Hot Cops. He was also Opie, and he's also a great director. Uh, but I, I just love the way he narrates uh, Arrested Development, so I think it'd be pretty cool and, and pretty funny to have him narrate my life as well. Uh, what's the show that he got he got famous on? What was the little one? Is it Leave It a Beaver? No, no, you're talking about Opie. You're talking about Opie, Opie from yeah. uh, from Andy Griffith. Why show. can I not remember? Thank you, God, I could not remember that. I can't. I, I completely <laughs> spaced out on that show. Mary loves that show. Uh, Kevin, what's yours? So, if my life, I mean, I want to be known as like a man's man, you know. <laughs> so I need somebody like with like a uh, like a deep voice, you know. <laughs> So I'm going uh, with my boy James Earl Jones. Oh yeah, That's too easy. He's, I mean, he's got he's got a great voice, and it's like deep, isn't it? So Simba, I'm very disappointed in you. I know. You could have been killed. You deliberately disobeyed me, and what's worse, you put Nala in danger. That's what I need. I need that in my life <laughs> to tell the great story of Kevin Hefner. <laughs> I mean, it's up there. He has one of the greatest ones. Uh, he does have a great voice. Yeah. Decent actor, but yeah, great voice. Not an A-list. But. Yeah. Uh, next one. This is going to be... I thought Kevin was going to say the Marlboro Man. I was thinking that, Rich. I seriously was thinking that. <laughs> I was thinking Clint Eastwood. What's the guy from uh, The Ranch? Uh, I know that's not what he's Matthew known for, Goodyear. but the older guy. In... 
<laughs> <laughs> not Ashton Kutcher, no. Yeah. But you know what yeah. I'm talking about. The yeah. cowboy guy. He always had the cowboy guy. Oh, yeah, and he's yeah, in the Big Lebowski. Yeah. Yeah, the Big Lebowski. That's him, yeah. The dude. Taking her easy for all us sinners. Sarsaparilla. Mm-hmm. Some, I'll add some good sarsaparilla. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Sam Elliott. Oh, Elliot someone's got their phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. obviously. Kev likes to fact check a little bit here and there on the show. That's good. I thought yeah. of Peter Coyote. Uh, he does a lot of the <laughs> Western documentaries and stuff. Uh-huh. All right. What talking about. Kevin Byrne. Oh, yeah. He does those Ken Burns documentaries. Kev's like, I don't remember. No, I don't know who that is. He might be saying wrong name, but, but I, I didn't. I looked it up. Oh, he looked it up too. Yay! I get gotta get my phone. <laughs> All right, so you guys can't watch that much TV, but I'm sure you guys uh, are on Netflix a lot. The movie you can watch a hundred, a thousand times and still love. Chase, you actually voted for this question, so I'm gonna make you go first, um, and then I'm gonna have Liz and Rich answer this question. Um, yeah, uh, this isn't necessarily cause it's like an amazing movie or something, but I don't know. I've seen it a bunch and I still enjoy watching it. And, uh, guardians of the galaxy, the first one, for some reason, just really, I really like the music in it. I think it's hilarious. Just something about that movie lets me watch it like a thousand times and still enjoy it. I don't know why. Yep. You're a big music guy. I do like music. Yeah, I like a good score. When it comes, when it comes to, I like movies, a good score. I mean, yeah, I think it really sets up the whole movie. If you have a bad score, it ruins the movie for me. I thought mm. for sure your 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 uh, movie would be some kind of classic movie. I did not expect Guardians of the I, Galaxy. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't because know what of the it Chris is. Chris Pratt love. I mean, I do love Chris Pratt. Man, he's he is he is a bad. I love <laughs> Chris Pratt. Um, come on, Kev, give it to me. What what is it going to be? Don't tell me it's like a pack. Come on, man. No, you know what I it know. is. It's but no one knows this about the... you. All right, we do. guys. I've seen it. All right. For, <laughs> let me just tell you a quick story. When I was a kid, I had this on on tape, and I literally ran the tape out. Like, it broke. I couldn't watch it anymore. <laughs> I had to buy a new tape. Uh, I now have it on DVD and Blu-ray. It's the greatest movie of all time. It's Top Gun. It's so easy. <laughs> I can watch it 500 times. I can recite every single word to that movie. It's um, it's a it's embarrassing. It's not, what's embarrassing is that uh, when you got the, your van uh, f- and you drove that up to Jacksonville, you have it in your car at all times as well, don't you? That's right. Yeah, I, I actually put my kids to sleep <laughs> at times. They're gonna become either an actor uh, obsessed with Tom Cruise or. Uh, uh, become a pilot. Let's go over the ladder and uh, hope they all become pilots. Yeah. Next Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, Rich and Liz, what, what's a movie uh, you guys could watch a thousand times? Um, uh, he gave me the go ahead to go first. I'm going to choose, uh, kind of going off the question you asked earlier, but Back to the Future. The trilogy, though. But if I had to pick one, I would pick the first one. Um, Say that again. Back to the Future. There you yeah, go. classic stuff. I love the it, dynamic. And you would say the first one? I would say the first one. The only part that annoys me about that one is when he sings Chuck Berry and it's somehow some crazy different voice that would never come out of Michael J. Fox's mouth <laughs> when he's at the prom. You know what I'm talking about? But uh-huh. besides that, I just love it. I love the idea and time travel has always been something that fascinates me. All right. Rich? I think I could always watch The Big Lebowski anytime it's on. I could just put That's it a good one. watch it over yes. and over and over. And The dude. If Liz stole my answer, I was going to... That is a... My second choice was going to be Scarface. Uh, I can watch, really I can watch that all the time too. Yeah, it's so great. It's so different though. <laughs> Those are very different movies. <laughs> Completely opposite. I did not expect. I, I got I got the dude, but I didn't expect Scarface. Yeah, we listen to the soundtrack sometimes in the bus. It gets intense. Nice, a good score. Yeah, hell yeah, a good score. Stop calling it a score. That I don't care me. if it bothers you. I you you know what? I don't I give a shit. <laughs> Wait, so wait, I, I I missed this one. You were saying the score. Uh, you got me saying the score. Damn it. Uh, no, you, the soundtrack for uh the Big Lebowski or the soundtrack for Scarface. 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 
Oh, yeah, okay. It's a little disco, but then that's like all back. '80s music. That's like yeah, the limit. Yeah, which yeah, yeah, I can I respect that. I was trying to think of the soundtrack for uh, Big Lebowski, and I honestly Ooh. couldn't think of that at all. A couple creative. There's, I bet it's pretty there. good and, too. There's a good yeah, the theme song, the main song is pretty good. It's just kind of old. Yeah. Fat, old. I'm assuming the Eagles is in there somewhere. He hates the Eagles. <laughs> yeah, sure. He hates. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's that's what it's got to be in there. Yeah. Just like. I've noticed there is two people in the world. You either love the Eagles or you absolutely despise them. That's that's weird because I just kind of like them. Yeah, I just think their songs are kind of like a little long. That's the only problem I have. But I'll just go. <laughs> <myself. It's fine. laughs> you don't have to do all that now. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, all right, so this random question I actually picked because I completely forgot about this until I was like on your Instagram f- feed. Rich. Yeah, let's talk about it. Um, Rich. Yeah, <laughs> Rich, you were an extra. Were Liz? Were, were you an extra as well on um the Walking Dead? Not on the Walking Dead, but I've done some other stuff. You you guys both did a lot of like um acting and stuff while you guys were uh, in Georgia. But I remember Rich had a couple uh spots on the Walking Dead, so I brought this one up. So it's just being a question for us to just kind of like hash out. Um, name five things you take with you during a zombie outbreak. First thing I would take is the bus. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's yeah. secretly why I built it, but I just didn't tell Elizabeth that. <laughs> smart. Smart. Because <laughs> I could only have so much guns and ammo. You yeah. know, it's but it's about being prepared. It's about being ready. Uh, you know, there was a hurricane coming towards Jacksonville when we were visiting and we decided to leave or no it was was going to north carolina and we were traveling north but we were in jacksonville so we just stayed in the bus you know just drive it and park it wherever we want Mm -hmm. but also a gun and a machete and food of course yeah i just take richard because then i feel like he'd i don't know that seems kind of weird but i would just yeah he's he would probably make friends with everybody including the zombies because he's really <laughs> a personal guy. Mm-hmm. And so I'd be like posted in the bus with the machete and the gun and all the other weapons at the same time. And then he'd be outside just making sure everything's cool. <laughs> That's it's awesome. pretty much the life we live right now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I was like not even thinking survival. I was thinking really stupid stuff. And then I realized that's probably dumb. I'm not going to last that long. Yeah. Um, what would you bring, Jason? I was like thinking really specific, so I was like, "All right, peanut butter, a gun." <laughs> peanut peanut butter. Butter. I don't, I don't know. I was thinking like almost survival on an island more. I wasn't really thinking about the whole zombie issue, and then <laughs> so, and then I realized when when you started saying your items, Rich, I was like, "Damn it, that's actually that's way better than what I have right now." Um, so I'll be dead first. Peanut so they're, they're butter. Bad. But but yeah. you might be dead, but you got some good peanut butter in. So yeah. you're good, you're welcome, man. You're enjoying yeah. your day of life. And we love Are you guys creamy? From watching the show. Creamy or crunchy? Oh. So, oh, yeah. Creamy or crunchy peanut butter, guys? I'm just curious. I'm a crunchy fan. He's a crunchy guy. I, I eat crunchy. Yeah. Crunchy. Yeah. Creamy. Yeah, I'm with Kev. I'm with creamy. Moist. Moist. <laughs> it just, mm. The crunchy rips up the bread all the time and it dries. It does. Crazy. That's That's true. I don't I don't mind either one, but I prefer creamy. Nice. Uh Chase, what would you bring? What what five items? I'm not gonna lie. When I was going over the rundown yesterday, I totally missed this question, but I got some <laughs> stuff. Um so a gun and ammo. I know it's just, you know, it's kinda I feel like it's kind of a cop out, but I feel like I have to say it. Yeah. Um a bat because like I know Rich said a machete, but like I feel like that's going to get stuck in their head. A bat, and I got a pretty good baseball swing. So, you know, one or two solid swings of the head, they're done. You don't have to worry about it sticking or anything. Uh, it bounces right yep. off. Hey, uh, solar panels. <laughs> what? Yeah, solar panels. <laughs> okay. And batteries. All that right. way, anything I come across that requires batteries, I got batteries. Mm-hmm. All right. Here, I hear grumbling Kevin in the back. No, a, a solar panels is a, yeah. Just a, that one threw I'm thinking for a long loop, term man. here, bro. He's gonna have one on his backpack, just walking around with him. That's what no, no, I'm setting up shop, man. I'm setting up shop. <laughs> well, I mean, I think Liz and Rich would know more about solar panels than I would, but I just like 
don't you have to like yeah, connect them to, to things? They have to have like taking. connections. You can... So, yeah. So, but you can come. You can come. You, come you don't, you don't just you don't just carry them around we'll and too, and we'll have extra salt. There we go. Yeah. See, see, I got a place to go. There you go. Well, shit, we all got a place to sleep yeah, in the bus, yet, so we're good with that. Yeah. You're sleeping up top. <laughs> I'll take the roof, no problem. <laughs> Kev, what's yours? Uh, Chase stole my one and also stole my reason, uh, which my baseball swing is better than yours. Mm. Uh, but I'm obviously taking a bat, but I'm not taking any bats. Oh. Ne- I'm taking Negan's Oh, baseball with the, bat like, uh, from, from the barbed wire dead. on it? With the barbed wire on it, yeah. You gotta have that. Um, I'm gonna bring a filtered water bottle. Good one that that's you a can, good, call. you know, one that's of those that can, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm also gonna bring an axe just in case uh, I need to, you know, chop some stuff down, make some wood oh, items, I thought you meant if you will. Great. Uh, I'm gonna bring, <laughs> great axe. yeah, yeah, an axe. It, all, it can also. It can also work as a weapon, if you will. I thought you were going to ask me a question. Oh, <laughs> those dad jokes. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Uh, I'm going to bring some food, like MREs, you know, that can last, uh, but are also delicious. <laughs> and then uh, my last one, I'm, I, I wrote rope, but I'm not going to take that. Uh, I need a weapon. And I need one that's bigger than all of your weapons, so I'm bringing a rocket launcher. Jesus. What? And just I'm just strapping it to my back. Yo, if we get in a fight and somebody's like, "Freeze!" I got a pistol. I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, well, look at this. Do you want to fuck with me now?" I don't think. So. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work out. Nope. Like, I, I just think if you're that close to someone to hear them Mm-mm. tell that to you, you're gonna kill both of each other. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey. <laughs> You're and, dead, bro. And talk about I'll, carrying I'll a, talk about bus. carrying around solar panels. You're gonna be carrying around a rocket launcher with you? Yeah. Well, I'm not saying solar panels were uncomfortable. I just said that the, that it's just like you have to have like connections yeah, for these you, things. Like it's gonna be can, what do you connect them I to? Can Chase? Connect it to lots of stuff. Give me one thing, Chase. His batteries. Uh, He's uh, charging uh, his batteries. Our refrigerator. <laughs> He's carrying around. <laughs> So you have like an outlet. I told you I'm setting up shop, bro. I'm not panels. walking around. Y'all are going to be dead in a week. I'm hey, setting up shop somewhere. You got a bus. No, you got a bus. good. Rich and Liz are fine. I'm talking yeah. about Kevin and Jason. Kevin's going to be carrying around that rocket launcher. He's dead, mm-hmm. in, he's dead in a day. Jason didn't even bring anything for survival. He's making PB and J's. <laughs> I'm not gonna die hungry, yeah. bitch. So, so like, I've got one week left, but I'm uh, week and you good. have the bad back. So I get it. I get it. My back's not that. Bad. Oh, oh god. <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah. I mean, I just didn't really think about. It. I, I I can't. I just thought about like an island. I don't. I completely <laughs> forgot about the things that are gonna try to eat me. Jason's like a book. I'm bringing. Uh, I'm bringing Harry Potter, the first one. <laughs> Um, signed edition yeah. <laughs> so liz got really really excited for this one so i'm definitely gonna let her answer this one. Oh, this is my this is our trivia section that oh. we always have uh i pull the facts online so you so you know they're they're true trivia yeah. <laughs> so I found these online. I'll post the sources sometime one day. I'll, I'll get around to all these trivia questions. But um, this one is, uh, which is not a true law? Not. So I know it got a little confusing last time, Kevin. So you're going to choose the one that is not an actual law that I'm about to list. There's going to be four. And then I'll... Why are you talking slowly like I'm <laughs> stupid or something? Because <laughs> you are not not stupid. Um, Thank you. All right. So, Liz, you answer first, Kev, and then Chase. Um, Which is not a true law? Hunting unicorns in Michigan is illegal. Um, A moose may not be viewed from an airplane in Alaska. Hmm. Having sexual relations on a Sunday in the shower after 8 p.m. in Florida. That's illegal. Um, In Vermont, women must obtain written permission from their husbands to wear false teeth. You see, 
these, this is not my favorite type of trivia because we have some jacked up laws in this country and I already know that. And we it's do. like, how far do we go with the unicorn one? But I wouldn't put it past anybody. I don't. The hmm. witch is not a real Which Which is not a real law. I, I'm leaning unicorn, but do I have that much faith in the system? I don't know <laughs> at this point. <laughs> um, I would like to phone a friend. Richard, what do you think? Let's go into this together. I, I don't know. They all just sound ridiculous, but maybe it's the written consent for false teeth from a wife in Ver. Well, can you read that one again, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vermont. In Vermont, uh, a woman must obtain written permission from their husband to wear false teeth. See, I don't put it past Yeah, and that's that, so specific. Because that's like historically, that's so I don't know. I kind of believe there's some, you know, stuff on the books. Like, I would... I think that might be true. The one with the moose makes sense because if you're hunting in Alaska, um, that was Alaska, I think. Um, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to defer. Uh, Just pick one. It doesn't matter I'm going to pick wrong. unicorns, but really, like, if there's some, you know. <laughs> I hope know. I don't get this wrong or I'm going to get in real big trouble. <laughs> uh, Chase, I think it's the moose one. Like it, repeat that one. It's seeing a moose from a airplane. Like the yep, rest, you may. Yep. The the rest seem. I mean, they're all ridiculous. But the yep. rest could have been written a really long time ago, and that's partially why they're ridiculous. But like airplanes yep. are fairly recent invention. So to have and like, how the fuck do you not look at a moose like in an airplane in Alaska? They they got to be everywhere. Right? I feel like with hunting though, you don't want to like for poachers or like if someone's gonna get. But you're just looking at them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How can you prove that in a court of law? Good point. I feel like it's, I don't know. They're all ridiculous. That's the one you are? Yeah, I'm going with that. Kev, which one? Uh, I'm just going to go with this one because if it, if, if it is this, then I'm going to jail. <laughs> the Florida one? Uh, having sex in the shower after 8 o'clock in Florida. First off, let me say how awkward it is. Sex, shower sex is very... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really work out for me. <laughs> Maybe that's why the law's there. Yeah. Too many injuries. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's lots of uncomfortable positions uh, when eventually you're just like, let's just go to bed. <laughs> and now you got a wet bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, also, like, after 8 o'clock, on, I mean, that's only when people have sex is after 8 o'clock. <laughs> is that so, true? I, if that's, I mean, everybody's going to jail. If that in Florida, if if the, if you have a child or if you've had sex, either one. I mean, obviously they're <laughs> one and the same. But uh, and you live in Florida, you're going to jail. So I'm going with that one. Eight o'clock in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> so the one that is not a true law is sex in the shower. Oh, hey, let's go. Wow. Yeah. So you guys can fact check me. They're all from all line, no, but like you said, you. there's some are just like really dumb. We've all we've all gone through the laws before and seen some of these back in the day and just like there's no way they're true. But the one that it so I saw the list of laws um a couple days ago and the first one that I saw was the unicorn one. I'm like, yeah. how did that become a that law? one's just, like, just too ridiculous? It had to be true. Come on, yeah. America. Um <laughs> come on, <laughs> step your game up, America. <laughs> well the thing you mentioned about like Vermont the stuff there i honestly didn't think about it and i'm like well actually the law is like back in the day when like um false teeth and like all that kind of stuff and well the, and the, men mm -hmm. basically being in charge of women yeah. yeah so i thought i was like damn that's actually uh, i didn't think about it like that i just thought it was ridiculous just in general so i thought everyone was going to choose that one um but uh yeah that's a little trivia um can we just say how awesome yeah. i am though? You, so backstory to for liz um, and Rich, uh, Kev has sucked on trivia for a while. And then out of nowhere, he's been like kind of getting really good at it. So his ego's kind of gotten pretty. pretty I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The man has a now. big ego. Yeah. You can, you can call me, uh, Kev the trivia <laughs> master. Uh, just, uh, give me crickets on that. Yes, one. you did. Do. You're going to, how are, how are all those facts floating around in your head doing? Uh, so uh, it's, I, it's not easy. Yeah, so Chase brought that up before. So I follow a bunch of trivia questions on Instagram or trivia accounts on Instagram, and then I go online and just look up fun facts. I have like a three-page like um doc that just filled with just random facts. 
So sometimes the ones that are the hard ones is where I just have a fact and I got to come up with like three different random ones that aren't um, real. So this one was a little tough. But uh, how do you okay. have time for all that stuff? This is tough. It's a good question. It's a New Year's resolution for me to relax. I don't know. Sometimes I just kind of want the show to like go succeed. off and yeah. do, <laughs> succeed. So I thought some of this stuff needs it. We need a little trivia, and we felt like we all love trivia. So I was like, I'll put some work into it. And we all have our little segments, which we're gonna um actually uh tie up to tie up the show with um Chase. So. Rich was able to listen to a few of our episodes or a little bit of one of our episodes, but to let you know what's about to go happen or about to happen, uh, Chase is going to give us a rant. And then after that, um, our boy Kev is going to give us a dad tip because he has two beautiful little girls and he's a brilliant dad and he tries to help us out um, for future kids. And Chase is a very angry guy. Apparently he's, I'm, a not, lot of I'm not that angry. I'm really not. He's not that angry. He just gets annoyed uh, by dumb people. I do. That's um, accurate statement. And then Kevin I and then do. Kevin likes to pretend like he doesn't get annoyed by this, even though we all know for a fact that he does. He likes to pretend like he's Joe Rogan. So, yeah, Joe Rogan is he's an angry guy, too. Mm. I don't understand. It's Pat. Yeah. that okay. exactly. You obviously never heard the Joe Rogan show. I have, but that's fine. Oh, that's cool, man. Chase. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Kevin. I'm always angry. <laughs> AMI woman. So yeah, what is it? AMI woman. Uh, uh-huh. AMI is Anna Maria Island. Um, yeah. And that's my family has has a house um, that's been in my family for since like the 50s, I think. Um, so anyways, Mary and I went down to this house like seven years ago. And uh, we're used to going to her beach house, which is in St. Teresa. It's very dog friendly. You can just let your dogs run around. It's awesome. Um, So Anna Maria, we take our dog Jelly Bean and we're walking her on the beach. And this woman comes like sprinting up to us, like with like this look of just like pure anger on her face. And she's like, what are you doing? Get that dog off the beach. And we're like, (laughs) we're just like, oh, my God. And like, Jell, I mean, this girl, this woman is running at us, so. Jelly Bean like thinks she wants to play, so like she kind of you know saunters up to her. Like her name is Jelly Bean, okay? She weighs she weighs thirty pounds tops. Well, I mean she's kind of fat now, so she weighs like forty pounds. Uh, yeah, Vicious. she is the sweetest dog. And this woman, when Jelly Bean like saunters up to you, you would think it's like a bull charging her. She like recoils and like jumps backwards and like get that dog away from me and like. She's like, you know, it's a three hundred dollar fine to walk your dog on a beach in Anna Maria. We're like, oh, my God, lady. Like, first of all, we didn't know that there's no signs anywhere. Second of all, I'm pretty sure at this point we're on private property. We're on our beach. And this woman's sprinting up, like yelling at us and like, get that dog off the beach. Oh, my God, dude. And Mary and I are just like, what the hell, man? Like, how about you get your ass off our property? Okay, because that's a bigger fine right there. (laughs) <laughs> that's a bigger fine right there yeah get your ass off our property don't tell me how to treat my vicious jelly bean okay i expected a better comeback from you with her I, like that's you can do better I'm, than that i'm sorry to disappoint you he's not a he's not an angry man yeah, he's not I, an angry I was man. very that's relaxed it. you know i kind of told her to kindly get the fuck off my property <laughs> <laughs> damn uh yeah i i remember you telling me about the dog issues but yeah um Dude. just to let everybody know yeah the dogs are 30 pounds but these are like very small short dogs oh, yeah. they're not like it's not like a 30 pound like i don't i don't know i can't picture dude like, she's, how to explain she's dogs. so they're short very tiny the small dogs yeah and like literally she just likes to just like cuddle i can just see this brenda just running dude brenda what brenda dude. was on a tear bro yeah she she's definitely this is how i picture her she's like a little overweight she's wearing a one-piece bathing <laughs> suit like superly over tan and has smoked way too I many cigarettes and so marching accurate. with big stomps and having one hand in the air and her fist shaking around <laughs> exactly <laughs> have you guys uh rich list have either of you guys gotten like yelled at for parking in the wrong spot or something like that someone coming out like just getting we were at a parking lot at a mall 
And so it was the mall security cop that came up and he's like, what are you guys doing here? You can't just camp out. This isn't a Motel 6. Yeah, it was in Charleston. But we were, now that I think about it, we were playing guitar and it was like one in the morning and we were had music on and we were like doing a bunch of crazy stuff in the bus. So we just respected that he had to do his job. Yeah. You guys are too sweet. <laughs> you have to be adaptable. You have to be yeah. really um, like, like okay to to leave and not be stuck in one place. Chase, that lady, was that like your neighbor? Or have you ever seen her again? Brenda. Recording in progress. Here you go. Chase gone? Is he pooping? Is he in the cat box? Yeah, here you go. Where is he? He must have friends. Someone knows where he is. He's che- checking on that Insta. Oh, pod. his stuff is like just burning down right now. Oh, pork chops. <laughs> no. Yeah, the pork chops are gone. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Since he just left us like a like a dick. Uh, Kev, give us your dad tip. You know what, young lady? Do you want to go to timeout? All right. One, two, three. It's time for dad tips. All right. So... This is kind of a quick and easy dad tip. Literally say that every time. Uh, my dad tip of the day is slowly teach them to make your day mm. easier. Don't make them like little slaves, obviously, <laughs> but like you kind of kind of can. Yeah. Uh, you know, like man, I sometimes when I when I'm like in a good relaxed spot. My dog will go to the door and be like, I'm ready to go to the potty, you know? And I'm just like, God damn it, I just got in my spot. And I have to get up now. Thanks a lot, Lily. Uh, but now, I'm just like, hey, get that, uh, let the dog out, please. And they they love doing stuff like that. Uh, they haven't quite got to the point where they can <laughs> reach the beer in my refrigerator. <laughs> but once they, I mean... My my oldest Avery, she's almost tall enough. So once that happens, I mean, she already does it for her grandpa at her grandpa's house. <laughs> so uh, it's just little things, man. Like pick that up or do that or do that. You know, like you can do it, but you got a kid now, man. Like make you know it's little baby slaves. Psychology. You have to make <laughs> them think right. that they want to do it and that it's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My mom used to tell me that's funny you said. My mom used to be like. You know, you clean better than any of your brothers or something like that. I'd be like, oh, really? What? And then like, yeah, like, I'll, okay, I'll do that. And then now today I'm like, God damn, she got me. I'm a good cleaner. Damn. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I never really, I don't, I, maybe my parents did do that. I just never really like. Oh, yeah, they, they did. did. Yeah. I'm trying to like you think back. Don't. I don't know. Is Chase back? Chase, is your food burnt? Is my food burnt? No, it's good. Yeah. We, you you right. left the show and then we started talking and then you went MIA and then prove it. We uh, okay. You, when the show starts, yeah, I'm just pretty, gonna be a lot, pretty easy to <laughs> prove. There's gonna be a long awkward silence for a second. Did you ask me a question before? Yep. Yeah, we yeah. did. Oh, cool. What was the question? Yeah. It's not important anymore Doesn't now. Matter. All right. So, cool. it's, it's, all right. So we ruined it. Nah. What are you gonna do? You suck, you jackass. That ends the show pretty much. But I was curious, Rich. What is what are your plans for the next couple of days? So you're in Arizona. Uh, you're visiting a yes, cousin, cousin, correct? Liz's cousin, Josh Duffy. He's a world famous black and gray tattoo artist. Yeah, so we're going to stay here for a couple of days. Then we're going to RTR, which is called the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. And it's where RVs from all over North America pretty much just meet in Quartzsite, Arizona. And they just hang out because they're like birds and they follow the weather and it's warmer down here. So we're going to do that. Go to Schooly Palooza. Um, and, but yeah, I mean, if people want to contact us, it's little house on the highway and the highway is spelled H W Y. So that's on our Gmail. That's our Instagram. That's our Facebook, um, and our YouTube. So if anybody has more questions, um, but we're just winging it kind of, we're having fun visiting family, doing RV stuff. That's awesome. So what are the videos about? Our most recent one were, they're mo- more travel videos. So we took a Keys trip to the Florida Keys with some friends in a bus. We have some videos also where we've been working on the bus, you know, some of the demolition and the build process. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to see the early days, we have uh, some good, some good stuff, how we tore the seats out and patched the holes in the floor. But we think this was really cool being on the show and hopefully next time it's, we do it better. Oh, you did great, honey. Yeah. I always have doubts and 
shame, and I always feel bad. <laughs> you got to share your pooping fantasy. <laughs> there you go. We're just we're just an outlet for your pooping fantasy. We got it. it's fine. <laughs> and I like to talk, so good yeah. luck editing this. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, it'll be fun. So we'll tag you guys and stuff like that and let everyone listen and follow everybody and stuff. So it should be fun. Um, I'll have uh, Kevin wrap this bad boy up and we'll call it a call it a day. All right. Well, thanks everybody for uh, joining us today. Uh, thanks to our special guest, Liz and Rich. Uh, you guys uh, just make sure that uh, you're continuing to share and like everything that we share and like. Make sure to visit our website, cuptocuplife.com, where you'll find everything that you've ever needed to know about anything. <laughs> if you got a quick second uh, and you liked this episode or you like any of the episodes, give us a little review on whatever platform you're on and give us a little uh, little uh, star rating. Uh, the more stars, the better, obviously. So, yeah, like Kev said, just subscribe. And also check us out at Cup to Cup Show on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Obviously, you don't have to check us out on all three. That'd be cool. Just pick your favorite and follow along because we will do a ton of stuff throughout the week um, to prep you for the show, to ask for help for the show, or anything in between. So uh, thanks for the help, guys. Oh, and of course, share. Hit us up. Comments, like, everything. Uh, you guys, I guess it's a still morning for you guys. So have an awesome morning. And uh, thanks uh, for thanks getting so on the much. show with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it was really cool to have yeah. you. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Travel safe, guys. Bye.